これから2019年度第1回国連英検 B 級のリスニングテストを始めます1 Directions You will hear 10 statements or questions For each statement or question choose the most appropriate response and mark your answer on your answer sheet Number one. Excuse me, I'm looking for the nearest convenience store. Number two. What are you doing here at this time of night? Number three. I'm sure you can go to the toilet. But the correct question is, may I go to the toilet? Number four. Hello, I can't seem to turn on my computer monitor. Number five. How's your new job going? Number six. You were traveling at 50 kilometers per hour in a 30 kilometer per hour school zone. Number seven. Do we need a copy card to make copies on this photocopier? Number eight. Professor Smith, do you have any predictions on the economy for this year? Number nine. Good morning, Mrs. Johnson. May I call you Mrs.? Number ten. John used to work at a market research company, didn't he? Two. Directions. You will hear ten short conversations. Choose the best answer for each follow up question and mark your answer on your answer sheet. Number eleven. I wonder where Tom is. He was supposed to be here 20 minutes ago. Are you sure he said Tuesday? Let me check my text messages. Yup, 11 30 a.m. Oops, it's actually the day after tomorrow. I got my T's mixed up. Not a big problem. Let's go get some lunch anyway. Question. When were the man and woman supposed to meet Tom? Number 12. I love you very much, but I don't think I'm ready to get married yet. But we've been dating for over two years. Why do you keep kicking the can down the road? It's not that I don't want to. But I have to focus on my career for now. Question. According to the woman, what is the man doing? Number 13. Hey, honey, I've got some news for you. I'm pregnant again. Oh, no. We already have three kids. We just can't afford another one. I know, but I think that kids are magical, and we've always found a way to love and support them. Question. Which word best describes the woman's attitude in this discussion? Number 14. I can't figure it out. 
My credit card bill is much higher than I expected. I don't think I bought anything unnecessary. Nothing to do with what you buy. The interest rate on your card is 19%, and you often pay only the minimum amount per month. I have no idea what you are talking about. Question What common problem is expressed in this conversation by the woman? Number 15. In my country, restaurants always bring the main dishes at the same time. Sorry, you've been waiting a long time, haven't you? Indeed, I, or should I say, we have. Anyway, go ahead and eat. Your meal is getting cold. Question. What negative point about the restaurant is expressed in this conversation? Number 16. Hello, I want to log into the university website, but I guess I can't until spring semester begins. If I can confirm you are registered, I can issue you with a password. However, you can only use it for today. That's fine. I just want to check a few things about student facilities. Question. What does the man say he will give the woman? Number 17. Headquarters is complaining about all the late shipments to customers. What's happening? Sorry, I should have talked to you. The reason is one of our suppliers is having some labor problems. There's nothing we can do right now. Well, maybe we need a new supplier. Anyway, I'll have to at least send an email to headquarters to let them know what's going on. Question. What will the woman include in her email? Number 18. I'm so worried about speaking English in the executive meetings. Good Lord! Do you really think anyone follows that policy here? But they made such a big thing about not using Japanese at my interview, globalization, and all that. Question. According to the woman, what most likely happens at the meetings? Number 19. I'm beginning to see more merit in university entrance exams these days. Goodness! You've been against entrance exams for years. What made you change your mind? Many of my first year students this year were recommended and skipped the entrance exams. They are mostly disorganized, don't know how to plan, and often don't do homework. Question. What can be inferred about entrance exams from this conversation? Number 20. This is an interesting system you have in Canada. You have a beautiful office with a play area for the kids. It doesn't really seem like a hospital or a clinic. It isn't. Procedures are done elsewhere. I'm a family doctor. I examine and discuss treatment with all family members. I've counseled some patients for years. This is quite interesting. We don't have close relationships with doctors in my country. Question. What can we infer about the healthcare system in Canada from this conversation? Three. Directions. You will hear five conversations. After each conversation, you will hear two follow up questions. Choose the best answer for each question. And mark your answer on your answer sheet. Questions 21 and 22 are based on the following conversation.
In the English 12 hour system, we don't usually use 12 p.m. or 12 a.m. I don't understand. Why not? A.m. in Latin means anti meridium. In English, before noon, p.m. means post meridium or afternoon. 12 o'clock is neither before nor after noon. Okay, I get that now. But how do you distinguish between the two? There is a lot of discussion about this point. I use expressions like noon or midnight to be clear. Number 21. According to the discussion, which time best expresses a time for a lunch appointment? Number 22. Based on the woman's explanation, what can be inferred about her solution to the time problem discussed? Questions 23 and 24 are based on the following conversation. Let's talk about life insurance now. Two questions. First, do you have children? Second, do you both have regular full time jobs? We want to have two children when we are in our 30s. We both have good full time jobs. Then I don't think you need life insurance right now. Okay. I'm a bit surprised, though. What happens to my wife if I die? If you have no children, she will still have a full time job. Generally, with children, the main caregiver will have reduced income. The main income earner should be well insured at that time. Number 23. Who most likely is the woman? Number 24. What can be inferred about the future child caregiver from this conversation? Questions 25 and 26 are based on the following conversation. I'm studying about the United Nations Security Council right now. I don't understand the ideas of great powers unanimity and the veto. Simple. China, Russia, France, the UK, and the US must all agree before a resolution gets passed. I know the countries, a real fun group. It's the veto. One nation's negative vote can overrule the majority. How do they ever get anything done? Probably because there is also the option to abstain, which doesn't count as a negative vote. I see. So I guess a nation would abstain if they only disagree a little bit? Number 25. What does the man mean when he says, a real fun group? Number 26. How would abstaining affect the number of resolutions passed by the Security Council? Questions 27 and 28 are based on the following conversation I'm so tired of people asking me if I'm excited about going back to my country and legally using marijuana. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm tired of people asking what I think of our crazy president. Many people are surprised when I say I'm disappointed in the new law. But I'm an experienced teacher, so I know that marijuana is often a gateway drug. A gateway drug? I'm not sure what that means. It means that it leads to other drugs that may be more addictive or even dangerous. Number 27. What is the attitude of the man and woman towards the situations in their countries? Number 28. What advice regarding marijuana would the man most likely give to his students?
Questions 29 and 30 are based on the following conversation. How may I help you, sir? I bought this label maker here a few years ago, but I've never used it, and I don't have any instructions. We wouldn't have the instructions here, sir. These days, all of that is online. Did you check the company website? Website? I've never used a computer, so I wouldn't know anything about that. Really? Well, no problem. I'll do a search here and print out a copy. Number 29. What is the man asking for? Number 30. What will the woman probably do next? Four. Directions. You will hear two short talks. After each talk, you will hear five follow up questions. Choose the best answer for each question and mark your answer on your answer sheet. Questions 31 through 35 are based on the following talk. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Vancouver International Airport. Local time is 2 40 p.m. The current temperature is 20 degrees Celsius or 82 degrees Fahrenheit, and the skies are clear. We are now taxiing towards the gate. For your safety and comfort, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the captain turns off the fastened seatbelt sign. This will indicate that we have parked at the gate and that it is safe for you to move about. Cellular phones may only be used once the fastened seatbelt sign has been turned off. Please check around your seat for any personal belongings you may have brought on board with you, and please use caution when opening the overhead bins, as heavy articles may have shifted around during the flight. If you require deplaning assistance, please remain in your seat until all other passengers have deplaned. One of our crew members will then assist you. Please have your customs declaration card ready for presentation at the first customs checkpoint. On behalf of Aurora Air and the entire crew, I'd like to thank you for joining us on this trip. Have a nice day. Number 31. Who is most likely making this announcement? Number 32. What is the local time in Vancouver expressed using the 24 hour clock system? Number 33. What is the main purpose of providing this information? Number 34. What kind of passenger would most likely leave the plane last? Number 35. What kind of flight is this most likely? Questions 36 through 40 are based on the following talk. Good morning, everyone. Today we will start our course in earnest. We often hear words or expressions like multicultural, global culture, culture shock, and so on. But what does the word culture really mean? It is difficult to explain, isn't it? One common definition is culture is the attitudes and behavior shared by a group of people. A group of people. Ah, we are already in trouble because the country name does not necessarily designate the culture. True, we often say Japanese culture because many aspects of it are shared by nearly all Japanese wherever they are. In contrast, We often wrongly say American culture when we mean 
American pop culture. In truth, America has many distinct cultures inspired by people from all parts of the world. More correctly, the U.S. is a multicultural society. In our course, we will use six different aspects of culture to define several cultures. First, we will pick a culture and study the language and the way people communicate with each other. Next up will be the history, myths, and legends. Third will be social behavior, such as attitudes to work or education, and so on. I'm sure the course will be interesting. Number 36. Who is most likely listening to the talk? Number 37. What is a common misunderstanding about culture expressed in the talk? Number 38. How many other aspects of culture will the course cover? Number 39. What is an aspect of culture not mentioned in this talk? Number 40. What would be an appropriate title for this course? This is the end of the listening comprehension section. Go on to the next section.